Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. As you know, one of our own, Demi, has become a mom since last season, and Pink Stork has been essential in her transition to raising a future hot bombshell entering the villa. All of Pink Stork products undergo strict testing and can help with everything from menopause, PMS, pregnancy, and postpartum. We are hormonal girlies over here, and the PMS suites are amazing at curbing any nausea or digestive upset that comes with your period. Or, or you know, sometimes when you think your period's coming and then it just kind of, whoop, skirt, like, leaves the building, but still, scary. it helps. Scary. Those are scary times, but for <laughs> me, because, you know, I don't want to be with child. So that is frightening. Yeah. For some people, that's a beautiful blessing, and I'm so happy for you. However, for me, <laughs> I, I am hoping to see that. So, um, but you know, those weeks, just being a woman, you have like one good week a month. So Pink Stork is really good at helping with their, those hormonal up and, ups and downs so that you can feel your best. Um, you can still take uh, the PMS sweets if you're nursing. And the best thing is you can use the quiz at their website to find a regimen that's best tailored to your needs because we're all different. And Pink Stork is tailored to support you every way uh, throughout either motherhood, womanhood, all of it. So go to pinkstork.com slash firepitchat and make sure to use promo code firepitchat for 15% off. Okay, guys, I'm back and not happy about it. <laughs> Everybody's so glad you're back because last night I'm like, I literally didn't say Lola's name once. I just called her the new girl. I could not figure <laughs> her name out and I had no one to tell me and I was freaking out. So I, I only called her the new girl and I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't know her name. Honestly, um, so everyone the people me. who are reviewing us probably left. Like, th- as they should. Like, yeah. we are not the pod for you then. Like, if you no. want structure, and it's not us. No, it's definitely not us. We're just two girls having fun once yeah, upon a and, time. And freaking Love Island is not making it easy to want to be continuing to do this podcast. No, guys. Like, this is a dud, dud, dud. Like, with such high potential in the beginning that this is how I feel now where I want to just, like, literally skip, skip, skip. Ugh. Like, I barely watched Mimi and Josh's date tonight. Like, First I, I was all, ready to skip it. How? I've never seen someone go on two dates. Like, her and Io went on a date in the beginning of the season. And then she gets another date with, um, like, J- Jesse and Joey haven't gone on a date. Like no one I thought else. It was weird that Mimi and Josh got the date tonight. I thought it was super strange. I didn't yeah. think that's who should be going on the date. No, in my opinion, it's, it's clearly Mimi is a very like gets a lot of votes. Like it's she's like she's a high voter. Like, and I think she's really popular. And I think people want to see her. Like I don't think, and I feel like if they put anybody else on that date, no one would watch, I guess. But like to me, I'm like, Mimi already went on a date. I watched her go on a date with Io. How do you have another date? And like, th- I feel like there's like other couples in there that haven't even gotten out of the villa. Like Joey and Jesse, Jesse should have gone on that date because I do want to see how strong they are out on the outside. Like, why not giving that time to Io and Jess? Like, oh, because the public hates them. Like, but right. like, but like. That'd be an interesting date to watch, you know? Like, are they going to close things off? Are they not? Like, yeah. that's something I'd want to see. We're watching their conversations in private anyway. Just give them the platform to do so. Yeah. Or, Josh, like, why don't you... I would throw Grace a bone over... Well, did Grace ever go on a date? Or was that just Joey and Just Samantha? Joey and Samantha, I think. Yeah, but Grace was still with Harry at that time. Yeah, and like, what is Harry going to talk about? I, I Like, Harry needs to bring back that fire that he brought yeah. his first night in. If he was like that all the time, I think Harry would be the favorite. Like, I think he could win that race, but he just like yeah. lost his mojo. Yeah, he was really good with... Um... <laughs> <laughs> if you can hear Demi's baby, like, this say is as hi. Good as, and this it's is a as miracle good as it's gonna of life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're lucky I'm freaking here right now. Um because honestly, I was 20 minutes into the episode and had no notes. There's nothing to note about. Like, this yeah. is why I could make an 18-minute episode about I was, two episodes. I couldn't believe you did 18 minutes, though. It's because I was bullshitting. Like, I was just <laughs> bullshitting with myself. <laughs> Maybe I should give it a listen. <laughs> no, please. I, I beg you not to. I know. When you're alone, you just, like, word vomit and you never look back. <laughs> Literally. I have no idea um, what I said, and I that is not in my business. 
But that game yesterday was absolutely carnage. Like I was, I was loving every minute of that. Um, what was your favorite little bit from the game? It was just like Joey's like certifiable. What is it? Certifiable. Certifiable. Or- yeah. Insane. Like yeah. he's just, which is why he makes good TV. But he's just like out of this world. He's like the biggest gaslighter I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. Yeah. But it's so entertaining. So I really liked him. Um. I do like the fact that Harry was like, like, it's like, who cares about type? Like, if you like someone, you like someone. Like, I kept, I can't, I didn't understand why everyone was kept getting caught on this, like, Grace is not her type, not type, not type. It's like, she went for Joey. It's like, and also people, like, don't always go for their type. A hundred percent. And also she was obsessed with Joey. So that should just speak to the fact, unless she was only with Joey for his fame. Like, she was super into Joey. So if she's that willing to get out of her type for Joey, we should assume she'd be willing to do that for Harry. Or are we all just not saying the elephant in the room is that Joey was her type because he comes with clout? (laughs) That's what some people say, but I don't know. Um, uh, Okay, so we checked out three of my notes. (laughs) 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 But okay, oh, what I was going to say about Mimi and Josh is like, Josh is giving me like he knows exactly what to say. I I'm gonna be I'm gonna speak my truth here. I do not fuck with Josh and I do not fuck with Ruben. I do not fuck with those two bombshells. They came in at the same time and I have the same level of disdain for both of them. It's like they know the game too much. Yeah. And they're just like two smooth talkers. Like even Clark, Clark was watching this episode with me today and he was like why would they make it exclusive like they've been together for two minutes like it's just not coming across as genuine like he's so ready to shut Mimi down like for what is it because and I had touched on this in my solo episode where it's like at this point in the season I just can't be bothered to care because everyone's just like gonna hold on to their person so tight because they're just they know the end's coming so they just want to hold on new relationships don't have a good chance I think that's why Joey didn't go for the new girl a and Mm. b why Josh wants to shut it down so bad and c why Ruben's just flailing like Ruben looks like a psycho but Josh is so possessive of Mimi it's like giving me like a stomach ache no, and like, how do you like her so much? Like, how do you even know her enough to like her this much? It's just so exactly. weird. Exactly. Like, like it how feels are you off. ready to, how at this point are you ready to say, there's absolutely no way that I could turn my head for anyone? That's like saying, like, Love I just feel like he the wouldn't, tippy top top. It's like, I feel like he wouldn't do that in real life. So it's like, like, I feel like it's out of character right now for him. Like, I feel like he's playing a character of yeah. a Love Island, like, character. Like, I think he knows how to play this, like, um, what's it called? Like, where they're, like, head over heels, like... Like, nice boy in Yeah, love. like, and I just feel like it's, like, not his vibe. Like, it's, like, inauthentic. And that's why we're all, like, a little, like, what the fuck is happening? Like, and he's, like, I think this would be our date. And I'm just, like, we, you and Mimi at a market? Is that your date? Yeah. <laughs> Like, so running it just errands doesn't feel normal <laughs> to me. I, I don't know. Like, I, I can't even. Who would I even picture doing that date? Like, I, I, I Nicole don't and Karen, because they're Maybe. like a married but couple. Kieran, That's like though? what a boyfriend girl girlfriend does. And like buying the. I just like can't with why are we like babyfying all the like little stuffed animals? When did we like that become crazy. these people? But any normal guy would have gotten like the ick or a red flag at a girl being like our firstborn. But it was like he's playing the part too well. Mm-hmm. Like he's going after this money and maybe he knows that Mimi was a favor and that's why he yeah. just gunned straight for her. I mean, if you had been able to watch the show, I think you can tell Mimi's a favorite because yeah. she's just like the way I was always in the bottom, she never is. Yeah. So that's really a good point that it's strategic. I do think, though, like, if it was three weeks prior, would Josh be wanting to to be exclusive as fast as he did now? I think no. I yeah. think people know the season's wrapping up. Like, I'm just going to lock this down now. You know it's what I mean? It's pretty crazy that this is, like, the last recoupling. Like, and there's so many couples. So when does this show officially end? <laughs> girl you read in my mind <laughs> i'm like first of all i thought he said when when harry and lolo 
were talking and he was like, I can't get to know someone in three days. I thought he was talking about her and I was like, there's three days left. Oh, I know. Fuck. <laughs> were you so happy? <laughs> I was stoked. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like that was weird because at the end of the thing, she was like, Harry's being so weird. He was being really quiet. And I think he was just maybe butthurt or something. I don't know. Harry kind of, um, I did like the way he like, I wish he was almost like a bombshell maybe when Ruben and Josh came in because he has like a like, I don't give a fuck attitude and he probably would have stirred a mm-hmm. lot of things up, but he came in too late uh, and Grace was like the only option basically or the bombshell and he's like clearly not into this bombshell. Right. And he can't be because he came in with her. But now they're coupled up. No, he's with Grace. <laughs> there was a recoupling at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben picks Grace and so Harry's left standing there and he chooses Lola because Lola's the only one left and Lola like goes and talks to him and he, she was like this is just not the outcome I wanted like you would be my type on the outside but like I know that like this I'm is not, not yours yeah basically and he was just like yeah like he was really standoffish and so then she like walks to the kitchen and she's like um just, I'm just giving oh, you a play by play on <laughs> that's like sad though that like I don't know. She like walked to the kitchen. She was like, she was like, I feel he, that he, that was so weird. And everyone's like, why? She's like, I just feel like he's like so upset, like disappointed to be like with me basically. And they're like, I think it's just like maybe his ego or something. Like he just sat there quiet, like as she was like there. So they are, the two bombshells are coupled up now. I would like to say, like, I would go really far to say this is the first time in Love Island history that's happened. Like they really try not to do that. Yeah. So I'm I am surprised by that. The thing with Harry is like take what you can fucking get, bro, at this point. Like you're lucky to be with her. But with it's Lola. like maybe he like, knows he won't win or even get close and maybe he thought because Grace they're was a two favorite. newbies. Here's yeah. my thing. It could be she's a hot girl. Joey has said that many times. Like she's a beautiful <laughs> Holy girl. Holy shit. Jo- <laughs> Joey, do you think she's hot? <laughs> Literally. Like the amount of times he said to her face. And not she's even hot. like beautiful, just like hot. Would you rather be hot or beautiful? Beautiful. Me hot too. is you just 100 percent hot is fleeting like you could be beautiful at any age you can only be yeah. hot in your like 20s do- yeah 22. i'm not trying i, I don't want to get into it and we're all hot in our own respects but <laughs> i don't think but, we have like, those listeners. i'm genuinely not hot like i'm not a hot girl i'm beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i would say at one time in my prime i was probably hot <laughs> probably me too my prime was like oh, four weeks high school yeah yeah (laughs) um but yeah like i think the real letdown for harry is like oh now we're the two newest people in a couple we're for sure the first ones that are gonna get cut like he just knows exactly that's that's his plane ride home right there that's what i'm saying like i think he just knew that he was gonna leave so um that was weird and then sean sean being i don't know i'm glad they talked about it today with io because yeah because he was like, why is Sean just, like, being so vocal and just, like, running his mouth? Can you drop the Mimi thing? Like, this was excessive. Like, um, but then I guess he, like, apologized to Io. And I liked the fact that you could tell, like, being with Matilda definitely has made him. Because, better. duh. Yeah. Better. I, that's what happens better, I don't you punch know. above. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, but she's bringing him up. Agree. She's bringing him up. I mean, I I don't think up, but like there's wherever nowhere Sean to go. can go. <laughs> he started so low. There's nowhere True. else to go. <laughs> there's only up. Yeah, I mean, it brought him up like a peg. Um, right. And then I don't know. I freaking like Io and Jessica. Like they're my favorite so far. Dude, I like them too. They're just to me. They seem the most genuine. They seem like people who would work on the outside. Like yeah. I really like them too. I know. I to feel be like honest we're like with the you. only two people who do. I know, but like that makes me so sad. Like, don't you guys? Are there any other realists in the room? Like, we're the only ones that are looking at like realistically what's gonna work out. Like, but is everyone's favorite actually Nicole and Karen? It can't be. I just can't believe that. I'm. Sorry. I don't know. Someone told us to stop talking shit about. Me. Karen oh and I'm like you know I wanted to be like never gonna happen buddy like yeah like this is my truth I got favorites I got not favorites and they're just that's the thing about this 
podcast and the show it's like we're all opinionated so if someone gives us a thumbs down or a one star it's because we disagreed with their opinion of yeah something. it's not personal like that's why i die of laughter half the time because i'm like you guys are getting so worked up because you believe that io and jessica suck and we're like we like them right exactly and they're like yeah, thumbs yeah. down this video like it's just like dude whatever like i don't give a fuck but that's I just why it's miss like the days when we could disagree and it wouldn't be like offensive you know that's because um oh i know right back in the 2000s oh like these people like these gen zers would not survive in the age we grew up <laughs> oh not to God, sound like no. a total like boomer but we, yeah we we sound like that for sure yeah yeah um, i think you hate your 30s and you just do that you hate your 30s or you hate no, your when 30s? you hate your 30s you just start like disparaging the generation below. hit or well, hate. they disparage you know I mean? us first but oh yeah, we anyway. are we're chuggy and gross so it's like you might be right but <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong but however you have some flaws too <laughs> literally um and i don't even i guess we're voting for our favorite couple um it's her now can time, we so. can we start voting for like least favorites or something i'm just like over this but it is what it is it's We're all dumb down. it's all dumb yeah this it's, is so dumb i would love to get more of jesse and joey because i i know like i might be the only one but jesse's always like i know you i know you i just wish we saw more intimate combos mm -hmm. like how we did for like a second um uh -huh. but we'll be back on monday to recap how everything un unfolds I won't be thrilled about it. Neither will I. These past two episodes were dead ass. Like, holy shit, I have to watch to recap this. And it wasn't like where I was like, it's four o'clock. I need to watch or whatever time it was. No, if I wasn't recording this podcast, I would not finish this season. Holy shit. I'm I so done. I would just Instagram. look on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Horrible, dude. Horrible, horrible. But this is the job and career we chose. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay well enjoy your weekend um do you hear you that in the well. background good luck with that yeah dude i have I'm, a red I'm eye go enjoy a martini in peace dude did you hear you me? have a red eye tonight <laughs> tomorrow dude and i booked oh, it at okay. 7 p.m not knowing like not thinking about the fact that it's 10 p.m eastern time yeah i'm yeah. actually not well dude like i mm. need some good good and i cannot yeah no i feel for you dude and delta feel... like has an outage and so like we can't get on any other flight no there was like um, there was something what is with it? microsoft with all the flights like all airlines all flights even some banks there was like a software outage with microsoft so like no oh, one could wow. fly but i think it's i think it's like back now so i think more flights should be popping up yeah they're all like check. they're all going away they're all like getting snagged because uh, i think people got stuck yeah because so many flights got canceled it was like on the news or something oh wow yeah oh my god i just said oh wow at the same time mike text me oh wow isn't that crazy <laughs> soulmates <laughs> literally <laughs> okay guys uh thank you all for listening to fire pit chat your daily dose of all things love island i'm your host demi and this is jasmine we appreciate you listening if you're watching on youtube feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up we're also available to podcast wherever you get your podcast be sure to listen to the bye bye